here with Horror Junkies of Utah, and today for Monday Movie Madness, I'm going to be talking about the 2008 film, The Strangers. This is a very terrifying movie. This movie shook me to the core. A lot of jumps in this one. Probably one of the most jumpy movies I've seen that really scared me a lot. It stars Liv Tyler, who is Steven Tyler's daughter. She was in Lord of the Rings. Scott Speedman, he was in Underworld, and Glenn Howerton, who is Dennis on It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Uh, so that's basically the main cast, uh, three people. So to kind of jump into the movie and what it's about, um, in the beginning it shows this couple and there's a tension there and some kind of a sadness going on. And you're not sure what's going on. You can just tell that they're angry at each other and there's a lot of tension there. Um, it shows them go to this secluded house, kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's, a, it's really dark. It's 4 a.m. And um, and it kind of relates with me. One of my ex-boyfriends, his family has a house, and it's out in the middle of nowhere. And we went and saw this movie. And when we were up at his cabin, I kept like peeking out the window because I was scared of all the things that happened in the movie, which I will get to. So anyway, so they get to the cabin and you find out that he proposed to her earlier that night and she said no. Wah, wah, wah. Sad. So he had the house all decked out and nice and unfortunately she said no. So there's a lot of tension there. And they start kissing, and all of a sudden, a loud bang on the door. And you're not expecting it. And they go to the door, and there's a girl at the door, who they've never seen before, asking if someone is there that is not there. And it's, kind, it's really chilling. It, kind of, it was a very eerie kind of feeling that I got from that. And so... Um, in the beginning of this movie, it says it's based on um, true events, but it's actually inspired by true events. The director of this movie, Brian Bertino, actually, when he was a child, um, there was somebody going around his neighborhood, knocking on doors, asking for somebody who wasn't there, and then next day he found out a bunch of houses got robbed. So it, and it's more based, it's more inspired by something than actually based on true story. And also the Manson murders kind of ties in with this as well and different things that they did. So anyways, um, so they're sitting there and uh, Liv Tyler's character, Kristen, is like, I'm out of cigarettes. I, we, I think I'm just going to go to bed. And the Scott Speedman's character, who is James, is like, oh no, I'll go out and get you some cigarettes. There was a lot of disputes about that, about him leaving after this strange girl just came to his door. So I can understand why he would want to leave and have his space because he just proposed to this girl and she said no. So, but at the same time, if I was in that situation, I'd be like, oh, I want to go with you. <laughs> there's, there's a weird girl outside, something's going on. And a lot of time passes before something else scarier starts happening. People start pounding on the doors, and James is still gone. Kristen is still there by herself. The phone goes dead. Weird things start happening. Um, probably my favorite part of this movie that I loved the most is there was one rule that it did not follow that I loved in typical horror movies. You know, the scene where you hear something outside and you go up to the window, they open it, and nobody's there? Oh no, not in this movie. She goes up to the window and she opens it, and there is someone standing there. Just jumped. Everybody in the theater jumped. Like, it's terrifying. All kinds of different things start happening. Um, just a lot of terror ensues. This is definitely a terror movie. If you want your skin to crawl, you want to get that eerie feeling, you like loud bangs, things like that, this is definitely a movie for you. Uh, Liv Tyler, actually between takes, she was doing jumping jacks and running so that she could get that panicky feeling so that you would feel her emotions 
you know, the kind of distress that she's going through right now. So I really liked this film. It felt real, and it felt like something that could potentially happen. And I think that that is absolutely terrifying, because this could happen to anybody. So, you should really check out this movie. It's a great movie if you want some jumps, some chills, all that fun stuff. So, this is Tracy Glenn with Horror Junkies of Utah. Go take a look. I just want to tell you something. What do you want to tell me? You are my girl. I love you, Jimmy. What is that? It's okay, there's nothing here. I haven't heard a dog bark or a car pass. Nothing. There's someone out there. What is it? It's my phone. <gasps> oh my god. We gotta get out of here. Then open the door and I just want you to run, okay? Because you were home.